Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. We are joined here live with Lynn Glassman. Pleasure to have you here. She is our doctor of dress. Yes, she's an image consultant and so much more. Lynn, I want to welcome you to the show today. How are you? I'm great, Jill. Hoping you're the same. I am. Thank you very much. Uh, let's talk. You're based out of the Washington, D.C. Uh, metropolitan area, correct? That is correct. And the company is just you, but you work with children, teenagers, women, and transgenders, everyone of all ages. And tell us exactly what it is that you do. Love to, and I love what I do. Um, I really think everybody needs to start with a color analysis. Okay. Even if all you wear are sweats, you may as well know what becomes you the most. So I usually suggest someone begin with a color analysis unless they already really know what works for them. And it's much more customized than it used to be. Uh, We look at the color or the hue of skin, hair, and eyes. We look at the value, which is the lightness or darkness of skin, hair, and eyes. I look at the chroma, which is the intensity I do draping and it's all computer assisted. There are literally 4 million possible combinations of what we call coordinates. And I mark what you're always enhanced wearing your eye color close to your face. I really don't care what you wear on the bottom as long as it goes with what's on top, but I'll mark the eye color I will mark what we call the intensifier colors for the skin, hair, and eyes. Wearing those close to the face really gets you to look as as your very, very best. And you'll have three names once you do this. The first one is going to be your value. Are you light in your value? Are you contrasting in your value, et cetera? The middle one is like nail polish names. It really depends on the number I put in for the eye color, like exotic, illustrious, and so on. And the third one is the most important, and that's the season. And they get their own customized color palette and a little pouch that they can carry it in when they go shopping or if they need new makeup and they're not gonna get it from me. And I always suggest that they ask if they can look at the garment in natural light because so many stores, those that didn't close have fluorescent lighting and you can't really see what the color is. So I'm not stealing the garment, but can I step outside so I can really see what the color is. Beautiful. Now, would you mind giving us a little bit of your personal background, uh, your love of fashion, your love of design and consulting? Tell us how you became so stylish. Give us a little bit of your insight there, Lynn. (laughs) Okay, absolutely. Um, When I was a very small child in upstate New York, my mom had been a high fashion model in New York City, moved upstate with my dad and had to go to work. So what could she do? She went back to those she modeled for the Ann Kleins and the Calvin Kleins. And she started a couture dress shop out of the house when I was four. And then when I went off to school, downtown Syracuse and then suburban Syracuse. And she really was the best place to shop for Buffalo, Albany, Utica, Rochester, Syracuse and all of the surround. So I worked in the store, I went on buying trips with her and I was always the best dressed and I just was obsessed with clothing for better or for worse. And um, I do have a doctorate in another field which I did while I was raising my children, uh, hence my uh, name, Doctor of Dress. But I always dressed my friends who headed companies, they'd give me an agenda that they had for a board meeting. And I would on a rack put together the outfit accessorized for each of the meetings. And way back then uh, people for the most part didn't do what I'm doing now. And I didn't know you can make a living doing it, Mm -hmm. but lo and behold, I was wrong. 
Um, but Jill, um, you had asked me before what I do, and I only mentioned color analysis. Do you want me to go through? Oh, absolutely. The, uh, okay. Your Wonderful. Palette, how many colors do you have there on that palette, by the way? 40. Okay. Great. 40 colors, including your best whites, your best neutrals, and so on. And everybody gets their best customized 40 colors. Um, I do something that I call silhouette analysis. Yeah, I was the company that. calls it Signia. Mm -hmm. I do their face shape. Whoever thought about what do you mean my face shape? Once you know which oh. of these 10 are your face shape, you know how to wear your hair. And I have at least 20 hairstyles for every face shape. I don't know how to show you the eyeglasses that I have. I have at least 20 shapes for every face shape. Mm -hmm. I have uh, necklaces, I have collars, I've got um, necklines, uh, scarves, all of which have to do with face shape analysis. And that can be done alone or as part of the signia or silhouette analysis. And I take measurements and I ask different questions. That's also computer assisted. And the manual is 50 pages and it will show you based on your face shape and your body type, what shape of every possible garment you can think of works best on your body. Wow. I love personal shopping and I'm just so unhappy with what COVID has done yeah, was to so many, I mean, so many shops that I had relationships with, um, but I love personal shopping. I really do make it fun. I make it a learning experience because I don't stop talking about why I'm selecting this or I'm not selecting that. And I will first take um, a free over the phone or in person conversation about um, if they work in an office, is there a dress code? Um, who are the people that they see every day when they're working? Uh, are there fabrics they're allergic to, fabrics they prefer? Do they want things that don't have to be dry cleaned? And most importantly, what's their budget? And then I can come up with a shopping strategy to meet all of those needs and off we go. And I did so much of this before COVID. Ha um, now I'm doing it virtually, but since I've already had two shots, if the client has had two shots, I will go into their home for what I call closet surgery. Most call it closet oh. editing, but I call oh, it closet oh, surgery. Oh, I could imagine them the fun you must have <laughs> that, right? Absolutely. So, think about that because I've heard statistics and, and from on the news about how, you know, if you're not wearing something after how many years or months, it's got to go because uh, you're never going to wear it again. It's just taking up clutter and space, right? You're exactly right. And the other thing that you see in closets are tags hanging on garments, Jill, because they were bought at a great sale and have never been worn. Yeah. We all do that. I mean, I'm sometimes guilty of that too. But I do tell clients, try not to buy anything on sale you wouldn't buy at full price. <laughs> I mean, it's hard. I know sales are alluring, but I ask, think about how it would fit into your wardrobe. Is it a value added piece or is it a piece we need to find other pieces for and so on? I also, if somebody has basically no clothing, they'll tell me they have nothing to wear. I start with capsule dressing because mm. then you can maximize the use of each piece that you own. So this woman did a lot of traveling for her job and she wanted to carry on, didn't want to take too much. And so the first day she wore her red jacket and she looked okay in the black, what I call capsule. Uh -huh. And off she went to her meeting with a pretty necklace. The next day she put a white blouse on, 
button the jacket. Wow. Off she went. Looked like a, a people usually don't remember what somebody had on the day before. It looks brand like a brand new outfit. The third day, she had a lovely necklace, that, excuse me, scarf that she wore around her neck with the closed jacket and off she went. So oh, it's amazing how you could really get the more out of your clothes that way. That it's a great concept. Capsule dressing. Thank you for sharing. Anything. I love what I do, Jill. Clearly. And let me ask you this. Now, during COVID, if you haven't been out much, are you still the type that has to get up and get dressed and get ready? Or were there times have you been in your sweatpants? <laughs> Very early on. Yes. Okay. I had not brushed my hair, although it doesn't move anyway. <laughs> um, I was still in my uh, sleeping clothes and into something I was watching on TV. And one of my best friends FaceTimed me from California. So that was about two weeks in the every day after that. I got up, I put on my makeup. I didn't dress like this, but you know, I would dress in workout clothes or casual clothes. I feel better and I find others feel better if they do get dressed and Absolutely. wear a little. There's something that it does to us. I mean, physically, obviously, but mentally and emotionally feeling with some makeup on, feeling with some nice clothes on, you feel good. That confidence, I think, just emanates. It makes you better, that much better of a mom, of a person. The phone rings, you're talking to someone. You just feel different, which I think sends an amazing presence, sends an amazing message, you know, to those people that you're dealing with during the day. And, you know, Jill, you're 100% right. And research shows that people respond differently to you if you're exuding confidence. Mm -hmm. So it's a win-win. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Can we talk a little bit more about now? Is it illusion dressing? Is that on the list I see next? You are correct. And that's a word that I made up. Oh, okay. Um, I, I work that. with, <laughs> listen, I don't know about you, Jill, but um, I've got a lot of COVID weight that I didn't have before COVID as do others. And women are so quick to identify their figure flaws and they just don't focus on their assets. And I think everybody has assets and every silhouette can look evenly proportioned and their very best. All you have to do is know what becomes you. And if you have to learn from an image consultant, so be it. Yeah. I'd be very happy. So, so many women who feel heavy dress in black. Well, everybody doesn't look their best in black. That drains them of their coloring. I see what they're wearing instead of their face. I'm looking for harmony with what you've got on top with your skin tone. And so... Why not think about, once you get your colors done, dressing in navy blue or in camel or in burgundy or in brown, depending on what your coloring is. Uh -huh. The black just doesn't work. But if they can't afford to get rid of all their black, it's, there's so much you can do to still use that garment. You can get a scarf that has the black, a little bit of black in it, but your best colors in it. And I'll teach you how to tie it. You can get a necklace that's closest to your face that has good colors for you. I don't want the person to buy any more black, but they don't have to get rid of it if they can do some of the things I'm talking about. Put a cardigan over it, put a jacket over it. Beautifully said. Thank you. So that's what we know as illusion dressing. Well, oh no, that's just part of it. Okay. Oh, okay. There's more. Good. Okay. Um, people say, well, what about shoes? Okay. People don't wear stockings anymore, I find. But if your shoes match the hemline of your pants, your skirt, your dress, whatever you're wearing, uh, then people aren't going to focus on your feet. The whole idea is for them to focus on your face and what you're saying is what I think. So 
use details to draw attention to your face, okay? I have green eyes, so I wear green, green earrings okay. and I've got green necklace and a teal jacket, um, hoping to draw attention to my eyes. Anybody can do that. They have blue eyes, they can do it with brown eyes. Um, and so I think that placing a pin on your shoulder, if you don't, if you think you have broad hips and you want the attention again, raised upward, a big pin, a nice conversation piece planted on the, so on the shoulder. Know the texture matters. A lumpy, uh, big knit sweater is gonna add bulk to you. Nubby textures add bulk. Shiny um, fabrics are gonna make the figure or the lips look larger. Whereas dull fabrics are gonna make it look smaller. Okay. Patterns draw attention and goodness knows there are so many patterned everything this season. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if you're a very big woman, you're not gonna wanna have a pattern that's little tiny flowers. Okay. The dimension is just off. Same token, if you're petite, you don't want a huge splashy pattern. Um, I do a lot with accessories. I think they're a wonderful wardrobe extender. You never heard anybody say, I gained so much weight, I can't fit into my earrings, right? Yes. So um, I, I just think that that's really um, important to invest in accessories that are going to highlight what you want to highlight about yourself. And that's the other reason I carry this wonderful high-end costume jewelry line that's very, very well priced. You can buy a handful of things for the cost of what it would cost you in a department store. And it just broadens your wardrobe. You don't have to have a lot of things. You just have to have the right things. Okay. And you look at, look at the buttons if you're buying a jacket. If they're pearl buttons, think about wearing a pearl necklace. If they're silver buttons, maybe wear silver jewelry. So take the cues from the buttons. If, for instance, you're short-waisted and you're a kind of um, concerned about other people might see that you're short-waisted. Wear a belt, the same couple color as your top, and that's going to extend your torso. By the same token, you wanna look longer-legged, have it match the color of your skirt or your pants. Miscellaneous things for yeah. illusion dressing. Goodness knows if you're uncertain whether pants or a skirt are flattering or not, please don't wear it. It's yeah. probably not. Mm -hmm. um, so many women wear bikini underwear. That's fine if the pants aren't tight. Mm. If the pants are tight, you're going to see the panty line from the back. If you're tucking something in, make sure it's smoothly tucked in so you're not bulging <laughs> where you've tucked it. Something so important, sagging breasts. Sagging breasts make you look older and heavier. Mm -hmm. Get a bra that lifts you up and you, go, you can see the pounds disappear, honestly. By the same token, you don't want details or ruffles where you don't want attention, okay? Yep. If you're large chested, for instance, you don't want horizontal lines around the bosom. You don't want ruffles and patterns because it's not going to be becoming. Flattering, yep. Mm -hmm. Know that heavier lines add visual weight as well. Um, the old soccer shirts or whatever, the rug, rugby shirts is what they were called. They all had like one or two horizontal stripes. Mm -hmm. um, if your chest is something you want to camouflage, avoid that. 
you know that um, the bags that people carry now, the crossbody bags, yep. you don't want it bouncing on your heaviest part yeah. as you're walking. Yeah. So one of the most important things for everybody to have is a full length mirror. And check yourself front and back before you leave the house in the oh. mirror so that you can see what you, don't, what you don't want others to see first. Got it. Mm -hmm. So I call all that illusion dressing. And if I do an illusion dressing seminar, I have all kinds of, of slides or overheads for both men and women. Can I just ask your thoughts quickly on undergarments like to kind of tighten things up a bit um, in the stomach, waist, buttocks area? Do you recommend those type of fitting garments? You know, so many people are uncomfortable in them, Jill. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and it's so hot in the summer in Washington, D.C. Yeah. I think that you can, well, either you can get used to it <laughs> if, if you feel you need it, or you can try to do sit-ups and exercises to diminish Got those it. parts of your body or you can accept your body the way it is. Yep, all right, thank you. So Lynn, why should people be hiring an image consultant? You know, people think you have to be wealthy to hire an image consultant. It's just not, I mean, I don't think it's true that people tell me my prices are good and um, others. If you want to improve your self-confidence and you don't know how to do it, it's a very good reason because I can help you in the ways I've been talking about, knowing what becomes you both color-wise and style-wise. So many don't know how to put outfits together. Um, the suit used to be what you wore to the office. Um, uh, people are so much more casual now, that's not the case. And they don't know how to put together a top or a jacket or a sweater that goes with the jeans that they can wear to the office. And I love to help put outfits together. Most people that I meet don't know how to accessorize. And I think it's so important to do that, um, that I teach it. And as I said, I have like a little store here in terms of inexpensive but high-end um, accessories. How many people tell me, Jill, I've got so much clothing, I open my closet and I have nothing to wear. Yeah. Well, isn't that the case? Yeah. Um, a good reason to think about hiring an image consultant to do closet editing or what I call closet surgery. How about <laughs> you've been, you've lost your job, you've been downsized, you need to go on an interview. Well, if you want to know how to look your very best for that interview and go in in a confident way, hire an image consultant. How about all the men and women out there looking for a significant other? You want to know how to dress for that first date and still look appropriate. I can help you do that. Um, in Washington, and I'm sure in New York City, I think where you are, uh, there are so many career women and they're too busy to shop. Yeah. Oh, they don't want to spend their limited free time shopping either for themselves or for their children. Hire me. I'd love to help you. If you have that wonderful piece or good pieces you got at a sale or you love and you don't know what to put with them, hire an image consultant. I have people tell me they can't find anything that fits them properly. Hire an image consultant. If you have a special trip, a special meeting, a special event, hire me. Uh, if you've recently changed sizes, either having gained a lot of weight or lost weight oh, yeah. or on your way to losing weight, hire an image consultant. You hate to shop but you want to look fabulous. <laughs> Here I am. Yes, Lynn Glassman. <laughs> Your clothing budget is very limited and you have no idea where to shop. I can help you. 
So those are just some reasons that it's money well spent, I think, to, to hire and even somebody or me. Got it. Well, Lynn Glassman, doctorofdress.com is the website. Uh, what are the forms of contact you want to leave here with our viewers today? They can contact me in one of two ways. Um, they can first check out my website if they want at D-O-C-T-O-R-O-F-D-R-E-S-S, all one word doctorofdress.com, or they can email me at glassman, G-L-A-S-S-M-A-N dot L-Y-N-N-E at gmail.com, and I'll get right back to them. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time today, for guiding us and informing our listeners of these very important things, because image is everything. It says a lot, and Doctor of Dress is here to help you. Lynn Glassman, you have a great day. Thank you so much, Jill. Thank you, and I hope our listeners do reach out. Everyone else, please stay tuned. More of the show is coming right up after the break. Please don't go anywhere. And I forgot to say something very important. If they say that they got to me by this podcast, they will receive 10% off of any of my services. Amazing. Thank you, Lynn. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.